want to be proven wrong. We can't keep worrying about what happened. Come on, man. Let's not be oblivious to this fact. You're a prime example of society. I feel like this is the beginning for me. I want to be part of the solution. people react to having white people come in their community. I think it'll follow my stereotypical point of view and reserve. Holy Ooh, I don't know what to expect with that. I'm gonna introduce you to something that's been part of our culture for thousands of years. There's a huge possibility that everything you know about Indians is a lie. You cannot put a judgment on any culture that you know nothing about. I've never been in a place like this. It's hard to believe that this is still my country. We were all labeled as warriors. That's been embedded into the Canadian psyche. We do not label them. When I break, I break. This is an uncomfortable experience, having everything you know about your country being shattered in front of you. It doesn't really hit home until you, um, you're there. We consider ourselves not outside of nature, but part of nature. We're part of the land, part of the water. We have a right. We have a right to live as who we are. I want to be a Mohawk. I want to be who I am. I've learned so much from you today. It, if everybody could live this way, wouldn't it be a better place? It's almost like changing the lens to what you're seeing. Like you've been seeing under a very colonial lens up until this point. We've been misunderstood for 400 years and that kind of weighs heavy on the people. I never knew about this and it's hard to process. Speak up because those are the things that we as indigenous people have to do daily. You start with one and then others will follow. We're all human beings. We don't need to live in this world with hate. There's a long road ahead. What we need now is you.